What's going on Arrow fans, it's Mr. Dark Phoenix here with the Holy Trinity to bring you guys another episode of Arrow. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, please hit subscribe. I post Arrow reviews, I review The Flash, and I was about to say Constantine. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Legends of Tomorrow, Teen Wolf 5B, Game of Thrones, Gotham, Supergirl, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. slash Agent Carter, all types of nerdy theories every Wednesday, my comic book previews and reviews and all that good stuff. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe. I don't want you guys missing on anything. And if this is the first time you're catching my channel, be wary. This is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Arrow yet, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right in to the newest episode of Arrow, Code of Silence. Which is what several people have wished upon me in my days on this earth. But too bad for them, because I'm going to talk for the rest of my fucking life. Thea finally uses her sword. I mean, what's the point of having this shit equipped to my body if I can't use it? This shit is not here for decoration. This shit is here to slash some dumbasses. About time you finally use your damn sword. And can we seriously talk about Diggle's dynamic entry? Nobody else noticed that but me. Diggle comes in one second off, everything's all cool, he comes in, he just comes with a fucking kick. Just kicking shit right off the bat. That was dynamic injury if I ain't never seen one. That should be like a signature attack. Like if I ever meet them, I'm like, Diggle, I choose you. Dynamic entry attack. And then that shit happens because why the fuck not? Like seriously, Malcolm's a snitch bitch. Malcolm is a snitch bitch with one hand. And I am so mad at him, unless this whole thing is a let's sneak inside the organization and find out stuff from the inside kind of thing, like last year with Ra's al Ghul. And I'll just be like, is that what we're going to do? You made them disband the League of Assassins so that us as viewers and fans wouldn't have thought it would have been easy for them to defeat Hive. Like, oh, you just call the League of Assassins, but yet you, you let this shit happen? We're going to talk about I'm mad at you in a minute, Malcolm, you damn one-handed snitch bitch. Now this whole show is to come quick kill Quentin. Now, Damien Dark is the bride, and Quentin is Bill, and now the whole thing is kill Quentin. With explosions and buildings and shit. Poor buildings. I really hope them just is abandoned, because you're just blowing up buildings. I think nothing, like... And yet no one has touched that, that whole... That, 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 that church, that watchtower from season two. Wonder when they're going to make that their new base. Probably when they form their Justice League. Maybe then. Probably. So we got the Bomb Squad versus Team Arrow. I've seen some complaints about this. Uh, people were complaining about how uh, slow the fight scenes were. And how some of them weren't up to par. Some people were trained by other people. And I'm like, listen. As a martial artist, sometimes you just don't feel like going full ham on somebody. You some And it comes down to this, mostly. It just mostly depends... On, Because people think martial arts is like a beam that you can just shoot at somebody. Like, people say, oh, Batman, anybody in hand-to-hand -hand martial arts, blah, blah, blah. It's like, martial arts mastery and skill is not like a beam that you can shoot at someone. It's not something that you can focus and physically, like, push somebody, like a canary cry. It's more like d d determination, mindset, skill, and everything else that has to be prepared in yourself in order to use it effectively. And sometimes you go out on a damn hunt and you don't feel like fighting at 100%. And even if so, that, my reason aside, and even that, it's like, you wouldn't want to go full ham. Mainly because no matter who trains you, someone could possibly defeat you. So, why have them on a pedestal like this, where they're undefeatable, we're having them, having them here in the middle, where it's like, I could win, I could lose. I'll do my best. And something like that. So, that's just my thing for that. I'm just wanting to know that. Yeah, and then, um, Diggle got hammered really bad. That guy with the, that guy with the sledgehammer was not fucking around, though. And that bitch with the nail gun wasn't fucking around, neither. And I was like, hmm. Is it tool time already? This, this shit is really unbelievable right here. Felicity talks trust and protection and lies. Wonder how that's gonna work when you find out he had a son he didn't tell you about. Speaking of a son he didn't tell you about, Thea Queen is the greatest detective. I keep quoting Star Wars. If you haven't seen the photo of The Force Awakens, Han Solo has the greatest line in movie history where he's like, kid, she's a woman. They always find out the truth eventually. That's it. That's all you need to know. That's it. You can try and lie and hide the truth, but they're, they're always gonna find out. 
There's no point in hiding from them. The FBI, when they want to be, and Theo was like, I did some digging, I did some, you know, common sense and shit, so... Why you got a lotto? It's fine. Diggle, his hammer time, he took vengeance on that guy. I think he brutally murdered him. <laughs> that was some daredevil den Netflix fucking punishment. Like, he bashed him in the chest with the hammer, and then he bashed him over the head with it. I was like, I know this is supposed to be a show on CW, but I'm pretty sure you murdered that guy. Like, if that guy comes back after that night, then I demand that Ra's al Ghul walk out from being stabbed in the chest. But that's just me. Like, I'm, I ain't saying shit. Diggle's hammer time. Diggle's steel. Diggle's steel now. Still a better steel than Shaq. And Felicity's walking on air. Her feet. Felicity's feet can come back. Remember, Felicity. This is my prime expertise for you. I wasn't paralyzed, thank God. But I've seen a documentary about a woman who was paralyzed. And all I can tell you is wiggle your big toe. That's my advice to get your legs working again. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. This is the first time you caught my channel. Please, like I said, hit subscribe if you have subscribed already. Thank you so much. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you want to follow me on social media to be updated when I upload new videos, just leave a comment down below and follow my social media links in the, the description bar below. And thank you so much. Give me a big thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe. Share with all your awesome, nerdy friends. And always remember that they're good times and bad times. Remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.